Welcome everybody back to another edition of the Washington Football Maniacs. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I try to come out with content to you on a regular basis, at least weekly, sometimes daily, sometimes not. But with that said, please consider subscribing and let's get into today's video. So today's video is about the NFL Combine. It has been reported that some, I believe it was 150 contestants, are deciding not to show up to the combine and really the reason is because of uh, inadequate nutrition inadequate sleep just the sterile environment uh, to <clears throat> display their abilities their skills their strengths and just overall not a good place to really show the nfl that they are nfl ready if you really want to I guess put it in layman's terms a lot of these players are opting for their on individual uh, pro days and that seems to be something that they feel is more of an advantage to them why well simply put they have more access to the nutritional needs that they need <clears throat> more adequate sleep and certainly locations where they feel like they can put on a better display of their athletic abilities and what they can do for the NFL. And <clears throat> the question I have for the NFL is, you know, why are, are you tone deaf? I mean, it would seem like that there should be some sort of survey, I guess, at the end of these combines each year, you know, some sort of feedback from uh, those potential players and draftees who um, you know, served, I guess, for lack of better terms, in the combine to let them know, hey, this didn't work for me. Um, you need to improve on this or whatever and, and try to make those improvements. Maybe they do. I don't know. But you would really think that you know, to have that many uh, possible draftees opt out of the combine in protest that says something that that really sends a message to the NFL that you need to change this stuff. And, you know, I think the NFL might be looking at this from a, an entertainment point of view, simply put, you know, us NFL fans, we are so hungry for football that after the Super Bowl, we're kind of left, you know, empty, right? I mean, a lot of us are switching to college basketball and, you know, we, we get our, our kicks out of watching college basketball and stuff like that. But a lot of us are <clears throat> pure football fans and, you know, we really miss the sport. Sorry, I, I'm getting all choked up thinking about football. Um, but we really miss the sport. And, you know, although that looks like we might have the USFL to kind of, I guess, make ends meet, for lack of better terms. And uh, even the uh, European League, uh, which I didn't even know still existed. Um, still, the NFL is where it's at for most of us. And so, you, you know, we, we just, we miss it. And what kind of helps the vil fill the void is to stay in touch with mock dra drafts and the NFL scouting combined and you know so we pay attention to that because we we feel like in our heads we're we're you know amateur general managers and we feel like we know what's best or better for our, our teams a lot of times than what the actual general managers really are and so you know we 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 go to the TV and we stay glued to the TV watching the uh, scouting combines, or at least we go to YouTube and we, you know, we watch the, uh, the videos on these guys. And so it becomes more of an entertainment aspect from the NFL, maybe a ratings thing. I don't know how much um, of a ratings thing they, they get from the, the combine. I would like to be able to look that up and see, but still, you know, I, I think the NFL is starting to get away from from the aspect of, you know, th this comes down to the players need to show that they can make it into the NFL, and you need to give them every opportunity. You know, if you're putting them in a sterile environment, you're not giving them the adequate 
rest. You're not giving them the nutrition they need. I mean, are you drafting them to go into the military? And I would dare say, I've never been a military man, so military people can most definitely uh, correct me on this, but I would dare say maybe the military would probably uh, do better to uh, provide adequate nutrition. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the NFL feeds these guys, but um, I, this is just, you know, what what's being said. So, you know, personally, I don't really put a lot of stock. I don't really watch a lot of the NFL combine. I might watch a little bit from a, a few key players, but I mean, to me, it's it's like, okay, you're watching somebody bench press, you're you're watching somebody, uh, you know, catch some footballs and throw footballs, and that's fine. I mean, I look at it as working out, uh, glorified practice of sorts. But in the end, um, what it really comes down to is, you know, are they ready for the NFL? And I think in order to really see that, I think you need to put them in a situation where they have the opportunity to succeed. And I think sometimes some of these players or potential players, potential draftees may actually miss out on an opportunity because they didn't have the best combine. And so their draft stock drops. And, you know, so they're having to work twice as hard in the preseason, which in some aspects maybe turns out to be a blessing in disguise, but uh, they have to take the road, you know, a lot more challenging and difficult to get to where that they need to be. And then on the flip side, you may have other draftees where they have like this outstanding combine and their their uh, draft stock just rises and they wind up getting drafted so much higher than you ever thought they would. And then when they get into the NFL, you can tell they're not ready. And, you know, they turn out to be draft busts. And I think that happens a lot. And so... I just, you know, I think maybe are we starting to put too much stock into the combine? Maybe we need to reevaluate how we evaluate uh, these players. Maybe they should be able to have their own, you know, pro days and let them go out and display their abilities in their own environment, um, having access to their own uh, adequate nutrition having plenty of rest, uh, showing them at their best, and seeing what, what they can do for you. And I think that might be a better you know level playing field, possibly. I think the NFL thinks they have given these uh, potential draftees a level playing field. But I think sometimes when you make the environment a little too sterile, I think it can have the most adverse effect. Uh, Adfect. <laughs> not reflect, but affect. Hey, guess what? I have not had any caffeine for like three weeks. So, um, yeah, you, you're going to hear some. <laughs> There's no telling what you're going to hear out of this mouth. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, share it. And if you're enjoying the content on this channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, like I said before, I try to come out with new content as much as possible. With that said, uh, I want to say hell to the Washington football team. I really, really want to say hell to the Redskins, right? I miss saying hell to the Redskins. And, I mean, there's really no law that says I can't, right? Um, let's go Commanders. No. Let's go Maniacs. That just, that sounds, I don't know, sounds so much better than me. <laughs>